Today we want to be studying about briefly about the Holy Communion. But we want to see what is the big picture of the Holy Communion. I was saying that Holy Communion, I can bring it in one thing, the symbol of the Holy Communion. As we shall see the symbols and the statements, I turned it to be mourning over our sins for our complete redemption. Jesus Christ, when he was doing all the practices, it was a symbol that was symbolizing something very important in our lives. Remember the Bible says, when the fullness of time came, Christ came to redeem us. So we see the whole mission of Jesus Christ was for one purpose and that was for the redemption of mankind. So when we study about Holy Communion we see the completeness of our redemption but also the, to see uh, the devastation of our sin. We'll never understand uh, the Holy Communion or the Holy Supper as we say until we go back to the Bible, to the Old Testament. Many scholars, many Bible uh, scholars tell us that the New Testament Passover is a reflection of the Old Testament Passover. Before we understand the New Testament, the implications of the New Testament, we need to understand that what God had in the intention in the Old Testament. We see this in Exodus chapter 11 and chapter 12. After the children of Israel, in complete bondage, they had gone into the land of Israel, Egypt, as the children of God and they turned to be slaves. Listen, they went in the land of Egypt as the children of Israel. But when they moved into the land of Egypt, their identity changed to be slaves. Because they had gone to the land of Egypt because of hunger. You see the implications how we can also change to be the children of God and in the end become the slaves. Turning into slaves in the land of Egypt. And then when they were in the slavery, bound and crying for redemption, at the fullness of time, God raises up one of them to save them. Jesus Christ, the only way he can save us, was to be raised and be born amongst us with flesh and blood. Moses, Moses was raised up amongst them. He, he knew their language. In the end, he suffered. So redemption is always like that. God turned 
demands your redemption imana ifata ugucungurwa kwawe you see you can take your chance to be redemptive to others ikoresha imigozi kuziritse mu buretwa kugira ngo hinduke ugucungurwa kwabantu and therefore god raises up moses imana rero yahagurukije mose then the bible says god before he takes out the, of them from bondage hanyuma iramubwira mbere yuko ibakura mu buretwa he gives them this description of their redemption ibasobanurira neza uburyo gucungurwa kwabo kumeze the conditions of their redemption ibabwira imama amahame cyangwa se ibyingenzi kugira ngo bashe gucungurwa and god gives them the pattern of their redemption hanyuma ibereka nuburyo gucungurwa kwabo guteye exodus 11 and exodus chapter 12 mu kuva igice cya 11 n'icya 12 he says this is the way i want you to understand how i'm going to redeem you arabwira ngo ndashaka mwumve ubu buryo ngiye kwa cungura mu alarm prepared tubona intama yateguwe we see so many things the bitter herbs being prepared tubona bafashe imiti isharira barayitunganya we see the unleavened bread being prepared tubona the bread imigati all these things were symbolic ibi byose byari kimenyeto to the redemption of the children of israel byari gishanyo cyo gucungurwa kwa abisrael what did the bitter herbs mean ese iyo miti isharira yashakaga kuvuga iki what did the blood mean amaraso yashakaga kuvuga iki what did an an leaven bread mean imigati 10 rimwe yarivuze iki because redemption kubera ko gucungurwa is not something we should take easy with ntabwo ari ikintu dukwiye gufatana gaciro gatoya say take the bitter herbs bisaba ko umuntu afata umutusharira ladies and gentlemen and christians bavandimwe ba kristo even when we reflect it in the new testament niyo tubirebera mu isezerano rishya our redemption was not sweet gucungurwa kwacu nako kwari kuryoshye jesus kuryoshi. christ took the bitter pills and bitter herbs jasabye yesu kanwa imiti isharira you remember when he says nevertheless not my will but your will be done muri bukigihe yavugaga ngo mwami nibi buko nshaka ahubwo ubushake bwa ribwo bwa see how agonizing he was and painful he was in the garden of eden mubona agahinda yararimo icyo gihe mu muri ma wigetse man all these were typologies and symbols ibi byose byabaga ari bimenyetso cyangwa se ibirango bigaragaza only the blood amaraso yonyine would be a sacrifice niyo ari kubigitambo only the lamb would be a sacrifice for the redemption intama niyo ari kubigitambo kugira ngo abe gucunga uh, and uh, it was not just an old lamb but a young lamb nago bakoreshaga umwana nago bakoreshaga intama nkuru bakoreshaga umwana w'intama it was having no spots ikaba nta nta kizinga ifite no blemish ikaba nta nta kizinga ifite remember how while john said behold the lamb of god who takes away the sin of the world muri kuko yohana yavuze yaravuze ngo nguwo umwana w'intama ukuraho ibya gukiranirwa cyangwa se ibyaha byabari mu it was only the lamb byasabaga umwana w'intama gusa with unspotted with no blemishes idafi udafite amabara cyangwa utavangiranya amabara cyangwa udafite be acceptable before god umwana w'intama udafite igicumuro niwe wemewe wari wemewe imbere y'Imana in the new testament mu isezerano rishya nobody na muntu numwe no one na numwe could appease could satisfy the heart of god wari kubasha guhaza umutima w'Imana it would only take one person byasabaga umuntu umwe gusa born with sinless sin wavutse mu buryo adakoze icyaha to redeem sinners kugira ngo abashe gucungura abanyabyaha only that wo wenyine so we see it coming over tukabibona rero uko byagiye bikurikirana so if you want to go in the bible study niba dushaka kwinjira mu kwiga bibilia go to the old testament ujyuhera mu isezerano rishya see how the blood was given urebe See how the blood I mean the bread was shared among us and see the power of the blood that would also stop death over the children of Israel the blood was only one thing that could make a difference between the children of Israel and the children of Egyptians let me tell you friend the only difference that we have with non believers it's not flesh and blood but it's because of the redeeming power of 
the blood of Jesus Christ. It's only the blood of the Lamb in the Old Testament that could stop the power of death. It's only the blood of Jesus Christ that has only the power not only to wash us, not only to, to cover us, but also the power to destroy the power of death that ruled and reigns in the human History. In the Old Testament, it was a covenant of the blood of the Lamb. Understand this. In the Old Testament, it was a covenant of the Lamb. It was only the Lamb that would institute and Establish the covenant. The covenant of the blood. So when we cross in the New Testament. Matthew 26. 17 and 30. You can write it. In your books. Because, because of time. time. But we want to take some key points. Mark chapter 14 verse 12 to 25. Luke 22 verse 7 to 23. 22. Verse 7. Verse 23. All these are times when all these gospel writers express the evening and the time Jesus Christ had his with his disciples these was an evening time remember even the Passover was held in the evening so Jesus Christ comes at the final day and time of redemption. We see how God tells Moses in the evening sacrifice this is the final day of redemption. Jesus Christ gathers around his disciples. He looks at them the disciples did not know what was going to happen. But Jesus, as the custom, in the Old Testament, it was the lamb. In the Old Testament, it was a living bread. In the Old Testament, with, with uh, bitter herbs. But Jesus Christ brings new understanding and he speaks the same statement but in a different way with a different instrument then the Bible says Jesus sits with them in the upper room and then he took bread and he gave them this is my body. Then later of the cup which he also gave them. This is my blood of the covenant. And in so doing the Bible says in Luke 22. Do this in remembrance. I want us to see the symbols. And the statements. Jesus said. This is my covenant. Jesus begins the covenant. He says there are things that establish a covenant. And 
In the Old Testament, there are things that were establishing covenants. But Jesus Christ brings another understanding of the things that establish our covenant with him. Number one, the blood establishes the covenant. Secondly, the body, his body establishes his covenant. We will never understand this. We will never understand this powerful covenant of the blood until we step in heaven and God looks on us and he says because of the covenant of the blood you are here we'll never understand this but Jesus said this is something you need to understand my covenant is established by my blood he took the cup he gave them and when they took it he said a statement this is my covenant Not until the blood was taken. Uh, not until the cup was shared. No statement was said. My covenant with God. Your covenant with God. Your redemptive covenant with Christ is only established not by our own statements by applying the blood of the covenant in our lives. I repeat again the establishment of my covenant with God is only established when I take the blood and the blood establishes my covenant with him this is the powerful when we come to take the holy communion when I take the blood as we shall see it reminds us it reminds me an irrevocable and undeniable covenant. So when we take the cup of the blood, Jesus said, take Yes, drink for this is my covenant number one the blood is an establishment of my everlasting covenant with God to Christ it is done it is applied and it is settled you remember what the bible says when Jesus gave up the ghost the spirit there is a statement he said it is finished when a priest would put his hands on the sacrifice their statements would always say it is done it is finished the blood has cleansed every sin of the children of Israel is covered when we take the, the blood it is an establishment of a covenant this is this is my body that is going to be broken 
Why did the body of Christ be broken? Kuchi umubiri wa Kristo washenjaguwe. Why did he say this is the body that is going to be broken? Why did he give his life for many? He took the bread and he broke everything into pieces. Why did this body symbolize? Why did Jesus Christ come came to world to do? His body symbolizes us. What we see the brokenness of his body. What we see when he was sacrificed. What does his body symbolize? Why did he carry everything on his body? The Bible speaks about the curse that all curses were put on his body. What did we see at the body of Christ? By his stripes we were healed. What do we see at the body of Christ? We see crushing of his body and his flesh. But also we see the body of Jesus Christ uniting us as one. His body was broken. Shattered. But also we see the body of Christ bringing every tribe, bringing every race, bringing every color into one body. We see the body of Christ as a uniting factor. That's why he says, as you sit, as you do this, be reminded that my body has been crushed, but my body, my intention is that you might be reunited as one. In a unit of Christ, when we take the body of Christ, it reminds us we have been enjoined. We have been reunited. We are in communion. You see, when we say communion, we are saying we are united as one union in Christ. That in Christ there is no Greek in Christ there is no Hebrew in Christ there is no black but in Christ Jesus we are one so when we take the blood we are it reminds me God I'm still a sinner that needs you most We mourn over our sin, but also rejoice to our redemption. He says, do this in remembrance. Some churches do it every month, every Sunday. But in the Old Testament, and I mean in the New Testament, chapter 2, verse 42, they will do it daily. Why? Because it was a reminder. Do this as often as you can. The problem with us, we forget so fast. We forget the redemption. We forget how united we are in Christ. We don't mourn of our sin day by day. But every day, every week when they were gathering, it was a reminder. 
ariko buri munsi ko bahuraga buri cyumwe ruko bahuraga habagaho kwibutswa never lose ntuzigera utakaza the understanding imyumvire of who you are yuriwe and i think that's why kandi nibaza ko ariyo mpamvu there were mostly no divisions in the early church hatabaga ha maca kubiri mu isetero rya because the moment they would come together kwera ko buruko bazaga hamwe they were reminded of the blood bibutswa gamaraso but also they were reminded by the body ariko bakibutswa no mubiri and paul says in corinthians paul akavuga mu bakorinto don't you know ngo nabwo muzi ko one in christ muri umwe muri kristo don't you know nabwo mubizi that there is no all these divisions kwa dakwiye ko ha maca do you know nabwo muziko there is no apollos there is no whatever atariho apollo cyangwa runaka cyangwa apollo do you wese. know that all of us we are one nabwo muziko twese turi umwe so when they were gathering together iyo babaga baje hamwe the walls of hostility would be broken ibikuta byaho baturuka ni bibatandukanya byaramenagubaga hostilities walls of hostilities ibikuta bibatandukanya and forgiveness kutabarira would be broken byaramenagubaga these were symbols that were visible ibi byari bimenyetso babona namaso yabo they were commemorating about jesus death babaga bizihiza urupfu rwa kristo you know let me tell you reka mbabwire when you begin to see the body and you are reminded about the death of Jesus Christ iyo ubonye umubiri ukibutswa urupfu rwa Kristo you see how bad how wicked ubona uburyo ububi bwose na how sinful you are ubona uburyo uri umunyabyaha ubona uburyo uri nkozi ibibi then you say who am i ukavuga ngo ndinde then the walls of hostility between your brother and sister are broken hanyuma ibikuta bigutandukanya na mugenzi wawe bigakubaho so symbols are remembrance rero ibi ibimenyetso bikoreshwa nibyo kutwibutsa symbols commemorate to us ibimenyetso bituma twizihiza but also when i take when you take holy communion kanya none yo duhuye dusangirira buri it is a renew of our commitment abari uburyo bwo kongera kuvugurura imibanire yacu na Kristo Jesus I have failed you ukabwira Yesu ngo haraho nakoze ibyo gutunganya I have failed my sister ah ukavuga kuti Yesu nahemukiye mu mushiki wanje I have failed my fellowship nahemukiye imibanire yanje then the holy communion mu gaburo ryera you see other paul says it is holy communion paul aryita ugusangira kwera someone says the lord supper and akavuga ko ari gaburo rya but all these are same names umwami ariko yose na mazina same thing but with different terminologies ni ni amazina atandukanya kweshwa ku kintu kimwe it is a renewal no kuvugururwa some people take holy communions at home hari abantu bamwe bakorera igaburo rya ari wabo mu mago a fellowship guhura cyangwa se gushyira hamwe kuza hamwe as i finish ndimo soza why do people talk so much and many hours at the dining table kwera icyo abantu bavuga amagambo menshi bavuga cyane iyo bari mu basangira in your home iwanyu mu mago what happens when you go on your hbfs let's say in our english hbfs in our hbf when we share at the table twebwe mu hbf yacu cyongereza iyo turimo dusangira ku meza people are free abantu bari sanzura people are united abantu bungu bumwe people are open to one another abantu barafungukirana so when we come to the table of jesus christ niyo tuje rero ku meza y'umwami ya yesu kristo there is a release of oneness hari ubumwe burekurwa that explodes within us hari ubumwe bufunguka muri twebwe tudashobora kumva the spirit of god Umu, at the holy communion umwuka w'imana kugabura kwigabura ryera enables our faith to rise again utuma ukwizera kwacu kongera guhaguruka holy communion igabura ryera ignites a new unity within ourselves ishiraho ubumwe bushashya muri twebwe one roof one bread ah uh, irobera imwe ry'umutsima unites us as one Ri, tugira uri duhindura umuntu umwe even the holy communion ndetse igaburo ryera prepares us ridutunganyiriza reminds us ritwibutsa jesus said yesu yaravuze as often as you do this ngo uko mukora ibi ngibi kenshi gashoboka do this till i come mubikore kugeza igihe nzagarukira the moment we lose holy communion iyo twatakaje igaburo ryera we are on the road 
of forgetting about the soon coming of Jesus. So maybe in some time when we come here for core communion, let us remind you about Jesus' statement. Do this till I come. Skeptics who say Jesus is not coming again. When we come in holy communion, it contradicts their statements. We are declare, declaring that the purpose of this holy communion rises my faith ignites our unit it is personal but also it reminds me as Norman that Jesus Christ is coming back again I wish we go deep and deeper and this is the Bible studies that will go deeper and deeper why can't we practice this in our homes? Because Holy Communion, as we shall continue to study, has the power. Let me tell you, some people have been healed. Walls of hostilities have been broken. Churches, divisions among us, church denominations have been broken. All these are more than symbols. They are practical things that have spiritual implications in the lives of a Christian. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning. When we visualize Jesus taking the body, the bread, and the wine, you remind us. The power of sin in our lives, but also to see the redemptive purpose from which you came to fulfill. To remind us that we are one. It reminds us our redemption it reminds us to be thankful it reminds us that this holy communion must be taken as personal but also reminds us that you are coming back again Teach us, O oh God, not just to be symbols, but to be to have spiritual implications upon our lives. As we go into the main service, O oh God. May you remind us that we are united in Christ. That through the blood of Jesus Christ, our sins have not been forgiven, but also our sins have been covered. When we take and we are reminded about the Holy Communion, to rejoice in you. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.
Kawe 